Hey guys, Dagger Matt here for uh, another video. It's a new day, so guess what I have? That's right, new essays. So, uh, before you, well, these are old essays. I brought them out because they were sitting on my kitchen table. Uh, these two in the middle are the two new guys. And these daggers are the way I like to find them. All screws, untouched, okay? Two screws on the upper scabbard fitting, two screws on the lower scabbard fitting, both pommel nuts. Crystal clear, beautiful, love it, right? So the other huge benefit that these two new blades are, both dagger grips, no chips, no cracks, no nothing, okay? So on the front, completely clean. There's a little bit of patina on the uh, eagle itself, but you can see the matching patina on the guards and the scabbard fittings. Exactly what we're looking for, right? <clears throat> Same thing with this one over here. Patina matches the eagle, matches the, the uh, scabbard fittings. Exactly what we're looking for. So I get a lot of questions um, recently about how do you authenticate these? How do you know that they're genuine? How could I just look at a dagger and I know immediately that it's genuine? Well, I've been doing this for 15 years, okay? Longer than 15 years. Um, back in 1993, I bought my first Hitler Youth. It was fake. <laughs> so uh, we didn't have the internet like we guys do today. We did have books, but nobody owned them. Well, I didn't anyway. Um, so I got burned. My very first dagger, which was a Hitler Youth back in 1993, I bought completely fake, right? So when you look at these, what you're looking for, and I, I've talked about this. So here we have a bunch of authentic daggers, right? Bun bunch of authentic essays. And you could see without question, the fit of the wood to the guard is identical, okay? exactly what we're looking for on every single one of these essays they're various manufacturers various years but the consistency and the quality is always going to be the same then the other thing you're looking for is the fit to the lower guard to the scabbard throat right it's exactly the same on all of them right so you look at these daggers and you look at enough of them in my case thousands over the years um, and you just look at them and you know what's an uh, authentic dagger I mean it's, it's very easy for me I understand why people have difficulty for it but the one thing I'm going to tell you is do not disassemble these to authenticate them. That is the absolute worst thing you could do. You start messing with this pommel nut and it gets wear on it or it starts to look bad on it, you're going to have a problem, okay? You could cr crack this grip. You could not put it back together correctly. There's a million things that could go wrong by taking these apart. So I beg of you, do not take them apart. Send it to somebody who can authenticate them. There's a ton of people on Facebook who are very good with SA daggers. Um, myself included um, there's people on YouTube that are good with SA daggers so you could uh, just check these out right you could send them to me I'll check them out for you and let you know whether or not they're authentic so all right let's talk about the two new ones I got in so both of these okay this one is NRH Grupa marked and this one is HE uh, okay both of these daggers are by very very rare makers this is Julius Budenstein okay this blade is not the best but I haven't even wiped it off yet this is how I got it okay um, there's oil on it and everything else the other one here is a Crucius okay Gebruder Crucius by Soligen also known as the Gazelle because it says Gazelle right underneath there and of course, same thing with this one, I haven't even touched it. So um, both of these are in great shape. The one good thing is you can see that this is a, a NSKK and this is an NSKK. This is an NSKK repaint because you can see the anodized finish underneath. This one is a post-war paint, I'm almost positive. So, but it's still an extremely, extremely nice dagger. I'm guessing that it's post-war because these scabbard screws look like they're in great condition. So, um full length blades on both of them and these are fresh out of the woodwork right that's how you want these blades to look you don't want to look, look at blades that look like they've been messed with disassembled taken apart reassembled and so on and so forth so um two really nice new blades I, I love the condition of them i really do even though the blades are a little bit um rough they're original they're complete they've not been messed with that's how I want to find my daggers. That's how I look for them. Um, one other question I get all the time. By the way, Miller Lite, I'm drinking your beer. I get over 2,000 views every video at least. 
Um, anyway, people ask me, how do you find so many daggers? It's what I do. It's what I do for a living. If I were a car dealer, I'd find cars. I'm a dagger dealer. I find daggers. Hey, World War II plane flying on. Slovakian plane that's down. We have an airport, uh, a private airport about a half mile from our house, and uh, there's a bunch of World War II restored planes down there. They're pretty neat. They fly over all the time. Anyway, guys, um, but I, I find them from various sources. I post on Craigslist, I post on Facebook. You, obviously, these YouTube videos you guys find me, so um, I can't give away all my secrets or I wouldn't buy any daggers. You guys would buy them all. But anyway, all five of these daggers are now for sale, so if you're looking for an SA, I got five of them, okay, and they're looking for new homes. As always, thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it right now. You can comment below anything I did right, anything I did wrong, let me know about it. I'd love to see your comments, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you don't know what you're buying, know who you're buying it from.